Well, I guess this is going to be my first attempt at some kind of little sports dialogue with you, old buddy. Now, I know the, the Raiders down here, we got our problems and shit, you know. And, and you know, our problems, you know, a little deep, but they all right. The, the Raiders will be all right. We'll turn our boat around. But what I'm wondering about yo Dallas Cowboys is this. Pat, what the fuck, man, Jones? What? Now... I'm watching, you know, the early morning sports stuff, you know. It's Sunday, man, like you're supposed to do. Got up, ran with my dog for a little bit, you know. My little nephew's over here, and, you know. Go ahead. So we watching this, man, and my wife, because she, she's a Dallas fan. And but, you know, I forgive her for it. So um, we're watching the sports, and, and it's like, then it just... On Pac-Man Jones, man. Why is he in the bathroom fighting his bodyguard? What is he doing in the bathroom with this dude? And I, I was probably, had to tell my wife, I'm like, maybe the bodyguard ran in there to make sure he wasn't getting high. No drinking, no weed, you know. Pac-Man Jones, man. They all up in the news. And then they talking about Terrell wants the ball. I want the ball. Tony Romo's in the slump. Hey, but listen. We get to break out our new coach today. Be honest with you. Breaking out a new coach is a hell of a lot less exciting than Pac-Man Jones and Terrell Owens. But at the end of the season, it's still more likely a chance that your team make it to the playoffs than mine. And the result of that happening, I hate to say I wish Dallas luck because it's such a rivalry in the house. So I won't wish Dallas luck. Ha, 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 gotcha, buddy. I won't wish Dallas luck because my wife, like Dallas. <laughs> but I do want the Raiders to win. And if Dallas won, then I guess my wife would be happy too. But I won't say it. And on top of that, she puts on her throwback Emmett Smith and walks out. And she says, you know, we're not really playing anybody today. So I'll just represent. To be honest with you. To be blatantly honest with you. I don't want to jinx my team. I only wear Raiders shit after two wins in a row. Then I won't take it off until they lose. Normally I'd have my Raiders hat on right now. But I wore my Raiders hat last season. So this year I only wear my Raider hat when the Niners are playing and the Raiders are not playing. So I wore the Raider hat last week. Till we get our wins up. Till we stop worrying about what Mr. D is going to do. Davis. Then we'll be alright. But. Jimmy Johnson, I heard he's got his drama too. Jimmy got big drama. They was talking about how much Jimmy pays to provide his players with security. Security for what? The Raiders? We got some funny players. Our players are aye, aye. They're not living up the what's his name? The cornerback. You know, when I when I tune off of them when they when they make me mad, I don't I don't yeah, D'Angelo Hall. He, he, come on, man. He's not he getting burnt and shit. He getting burnt. You know what happens when you leave your toast in the oven and it sits in one spot? It burns. Yeah, I switch. Well, I'm going to break down the set because I've been babbling on and on for almost five minutes. Just for fun. Just to be fucking with you. Good luck, Dallas. Take it easy on Kurt Warner. He's trying to get his contract on out there in Arizona. 
but you gotta just be chilled out. Don't worry about Pac-Man Jones. He'll be all right. And what about the Miami Dolphins? Breaking out the playbook. They said on the TV today, ESPN, these boys went back a hundred years in the playbook. Watch out for the Miami Dolphins. It'll be pretty good. I don't know about winning today, but from what I saw and what I've been seeing about them, they're looking pretty good. In Tennessee, Tennessee Titans, 5-0. and Off the hook. And they're playing another undefeated team today. Let's see how good young Vince can do. Uh, we got the college highlights on TV right now. I hate college football. Never could get into it. But if I was to root for any college team, it always would be Cal. I, I love Berkeley. So, you have a good morning. Get you some steak and eggs. That's how we do it once we start getting old and fat. No more of those uh, uh, Fruit Loops in the morning for breakfast. Fruit Loops for lunch. And to finish the box off for dinner. No more of that for us. It's living large from now on. Here on out, baby. Sky's the limit. Stay cool. Stay tight. Stay straight. Stay right. Stay cool. Said that twice. It's always good to say things twice. See you later, man.